welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we are looking at resistant motion under gravity where the resistance is proportional to the velocity. Okay, uh, we're going to look at the rising case first. Uh, let's have a look. Here we are. If I'm getting to rise. Yeah, here we are. The minion's rising. Now, uh, we're going to have to set up the equations. You can see that resisting his motion in the upward direction would be gravity, which is acting down, and uh, the resistance, uh, which is kV, acting down as well. These are obviously acting in the opposite direction to which the net force is uh, uh, acting, so they, they actually turn out to be negative. Okay, so let's actually have a quick look. Now, the first thing to do, uh, if you have never done this before, is write down the net force, which is uh, mass times acceleration, or mx double dot, uh, and that equals the other forces which are acting on it, but notice they're acting in the opposite direction, that's why they're negative, minus mg, minus mkv. Okay, then you divide by m and get x double dot equals minus g minus kv. Okay, so let's see if I can get some uh, a pen organized here. Okay. Okay, here we are. Okay, so the first thing is you can see here x double dot equals minus g minus kv. Now we need to uh, write an expression for the acceleration. Okay. Uh, in terms of one of the variables we have, which in this case is velocity. So we're going to use x double dot equals dv dt. Now I've written there, we're also going to use v dv dx to find the, its position, but we're going to find the velocity at this particular case. And um, we, you can see here we're using dv dt equals minus g minus kv. So what you do is you uh, separate the variables. Okay, um, let's have a look over here separate the variables, okay, then we integrate uh, both sides uh, from well, velocity starting at initial velocity u up to velocity v and times going from 0 to t. Okay, and you can see here we've actually uh, it turns into a log. Okay, we need to evaluate the log, so we'll come across over here. Um, let's have a look, here we are. A minus t equals 1 on kL in g plus kV all over g plus ku. Now, you can actually use that negative sign and bring it across the other side and uh, flip that uh, the fraction in the log expression there, and that will give you a, a particular time t. Uh, and if you want to find the height, for instance, you'd set the velocity v to 0. But uh, we're just working out the, the velocity at a time t at the moment. So we uh, basically raise everything to the power e, and we have some exponentials here, then rearrange, basically. Uh, you can see here, do a fair bit of rearranging. Uh, and then we have down here that we can rewrite the velocity in a couple of uh, ways. Okay. All right. So um, let's now look at its position and how we would do that. Okay. Okay, so if you look over here, um, we now have, uh, again, obviously the equation's the same, but we just uh, are going to write the um, acceleration um, slightly different. We're going to use this one here. Let's try to see if I can actually... Here we are, yeah. Okay, now we've got now the acceleration instead of uh, dv dt is we're going to use v dv dx here. And we're going to... Uh, uh, if you like, let's separate the variables again down here. And the only thing is we need to have a look at this minus v dv over g plus kv. And there are a few ways to handle this, but I just did a polynomial long division, if you like. Uh, you'll see that uh, v will go, well, kv plus g will go into v, 1 on k times, and there will be a remainder of minus g on k. And if you look down here, this is uh, where I've actually... Uh, put it into the uh, integral. So we're going to have to integrate these expressions and if you go over here you can eventually you'll get an expression for x okay um, and uh, if you actually evaluate between u and v you can see here this is our if you like our displacement okay x. Now uh, obviously you can see here it's involving uh, velocities uh, u and v. Okay well Thank you for watching. We'll uh, look at the um, well resistance proportional to velocity squared in the next video. Thank you and bye for now.